Guys, I just got to go ahead and tell you right now, the game is never going to be the same again. I checked yesterday and saw that Tom McDonald was going to drop a song with Ben Shapiro in it. When it first, when I first saw the post, I thought it was a lie. I thought it was Photoshop. I thought it was AI. It couldn't be that Benny Shaparino was actually going to be in a rap song, especially since he said that rap isn't even real music. But I guess he changed his mind. It's been over a decade since he said that. Now he's embracing the culture, I guess, sort of, kind of, probably not really. But none of that matters because the game isn't going to be the same again. I heard it earlier on some bad headphones. Now I have the studio headphones in. I can't tell you how excited I am to hear it. Let's just go ahead and get into it because there's been so much going on with Texas, with Gaza, with Russia and Ukraine. So we got to hear this to calm down from all the craziness that's going on. Here we go. Oh, I skipped it. Let's bring it back. Here we go. Let's go ahead and play it. I don't know if I'll interject or we'll play through the entire song, but here we go. Absolute. This is going to be a banger. They call me offensive, controversial. There's only two genders, boys and girls. They can't cancel my message because I'm the biggest independent rapper in the whole freaking world. Claim that I'm racist, yeah, all right. I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's a bigot, I guess every Muslim's a terrorist. Every liberal is right. I don't want to talk to folks who don't get it. Go woke, go broke, no hope is pathetic. Pro-choice pronouns, pro-love, you're progressive. But you ain't pro-gun, no one to protect it. Where the American flags at? Remember when people would hang those. They've been taken down, they've all been replaced with BLM flags or a rainbow. This ain't rap, this ain't money, cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns, ain't promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. I don't care if I fail. Look at Ben Shapiro. <laughs> just standing there, so still. But that's how you know he's gonna drop heat, though. He's mentally ready. He's just standing there. He's about to drop that fire. Oh. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like lives in my pockets are fat. Oh, yeah, epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yamaka, homie, no cap. Dang. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison, I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep <laughs> hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Dang. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This ain't rap. This ain't money. Cars and clothes. We ain't selling drugs, we ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns, I can strip it's too much. We won't turn your sons into thugs or your daughters into hoes. Alright, so I think that's it, man. So absolute fire. Ben Shapiro, fire verse, actually better than Tom McDonald's. No cap, not even lying. Absolute heat. Did he have a ghost rider? Probably. But Let's put that aside for a minute and let's just go to the lyrics themselves. Beat was actually good. Ben Shapiro spit super hot fire like it's 2012, just like the stuff they're arguing about. Look, it's actually amazing. Very good stuff. Um, you know, screw Tom McDonald. Let's look at Ben Shapiro. Let's look at his stats. I got the facts. My money like Lizzo. My pockets are fat. Banger. Mm, absolutely amazing. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a wop. You know, Nicki Minaj's, uh, uh, what Ben Shapiro called a wet ass P word. Um, so <laughs> just crazy stuff. Um, and when he said that, uh, dog, no one knows who you are. That's that, uh, knock to the 2019 inter interview with, uh, Andrew Neal of the BBC. Now, by the way, he did, he did actually lose that, uh, debate which wasn't even a debate it was kind of an interview but somehow ben shapiro still lost a guy who wasn't even debating him but put that aside for a minute and let's focus on the song again um just an absolute banger i believe it's like number two on youtube right now yeah so uh number two trending for music actually fire from ben shapiro i mean look let's be honest the game it's never going to be the same again. It, it, it's done. Just go ahead and go home for 2024. Drake, take a seat. Kendrick Lamar, it's, it's over. You're done. J. Cole, 
might as well just go ahead and retire at this point. It's, it's over for you. It's, it's over. New rappers don't even stand a chance anymore. You're too young. Ben Shapiro, too old, too much knowledge. All he has is a fax, and he brings it everywhere he goes. Hey, it, it, it is what it is. The, the double cup, I don't even need it anymore. Look at that. It's gone. Don't need it. I'm actually speechless. <laughs> um, but look, after all of that being said, of course, um, this is what, you know, uh, conservatives uh, want to do. They want to make um, a new image of being kind of cool because for the longest time you've had conservatives or, you know, uh, uh, you know, it, uh, all around conservatism, it's kind of deemed as like layman for old people. So they're trying to like draw in um, young people by doing this. But uh, I do want to kind of say it's uh, ironic that Tom McDonald, McDonald looks at the way he looks being a conservative rapper because I can imagine like a bunch of Karens who unironically watches Ben, show, uh, ben Shapiro's show probably a look at a guy like Tom McDonald and get like scared. Like if the average Ben Shapiro suburban mom uh, walks by a guy that looks like Tom McDonald at the local uh, Walmart. I mean, Publix, because let's be honest, they're not shopping at Walmart. That, that's for like low, uh, low class degens. But if they did uh, drive by somebody like Tom McDonald, they would like immediately start like spamming their uh, locked door button. But, you know, let's put that aside once again. Um, absolute banger, absolute fire. And yeah, that's really all there is to say. I will give this a uh, uh, the needle drop 10 out of 10.